going to speak to you this evening as we, we discussed during the day. We said that we would, um, we're going to do something called the, the Lord's Supper this evening. So at the end of the day, this is how it is. The Lord's Supper is one of the most important things that there is for us. So we know that we've, we've, we've discussed many things in this, in the series that we've done these, up, these, these last couple of weeks. We know it's been busy during the day, today as well. <clears throat> so I want to ask you just to maybe just close your eyes and let's just find ourselves and close ourselves off from where we've been this week. So Lord, we come to you this evening and we ask, Lord, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, Lord, that you would just quieten our hearts and open our spirits. Father, we invite you in to this, to this discussion this evening, Lord, and we invite you into our lives. And Father God, would you take your rightful place amongst all of us, irrespective of where we are this evening, but Lord, you are there with us. Thank you for joining with us, Lord. We love you. We appreciate you. We adore you. And Father God, we want to come to you this evening and say we are dedicated to you. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> so here we go. <clears throat> we, we've done quite a few things up until now. We've done in this series we, why we need. We've done why we need God, why we need the Bible, why we need Jesus, the Holy Spirit we looked at, the Gospel of Christ we looked at twice. There, was, there were two uh, separate Wednesdays we did. We did the baptism into Christ. Um, we did the Church of Jesus Christ. And uh, this evening... I think it's only fit that we that we end with exactly where we are this evening. We we, we end with the with this with the Lord's Supper because that puts it all together. <clears throat> the Nachmal, um, Holy Communion, the Eucharist, any one of those, you you call it, that's where we are. And because it's important to God and it's important to 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 to, to us as as Christian people that we connect with God, that um it's, uh, it's good that we could come to a place this evening and say, Lord, what do you expect from us on this subject? Now, God expects what he has left for us and what he has written down for us. That's what he expects. So he expects us to, to really adhere to and obey what he has given us. So if we, if we go into the word of God, and we look at 1 Corinthians 10, verse 16. All right, he says to the, he says to us this. This is Paul speaking. He's talking to the Corinthians. And he says, when we bless the cup of the Lord's table, aren't we sharing in the blood of Christ? He asks this question. When we bless it, aren't we sharing in the blood of Christ? And when we break the bread, aren't we sharing in the body of Christ? He asks those questions. So what we're going to do <clears throat> this evening, we're going to speak about the breaking of bread. And we're, going to, we're going to speak about exactly what happens at the Lord's table. Because these are one of the, the sacraments that God has given us that, that, that he deems holy. And um, we can't make fun of it. And as I said during the day, I sent a little message and I said, maybe for us to, to end it off this whole week and not this week, but this whole series, we end off and, and then we'll, we'll have communion together. If you're in your own house and you're all alone, that's fine. Just have your stuff ready. <clears throat> if you're with your family, let's do it together <clears throat> as one body of Christ this evening. Because really, we need it. If I look at what, what's happening around us in our country, if I look at this world, <clears throat> we're not in a good place at the moment. And everybody is, is scared and everybody is scattered and everybody is running in the direction. And God's children should be the ones that are are really inviting people into the company of God to strengthen them and send them back out again. May God strengthen you and I in this evening as we as we continue this journey about, about his word and 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 the on communion and what he expects from you and me this evening. If you are a devout, if you are a, a believer um, and you're in the community as we find ourselves in, then if we, a believing community of believers, 
The word says that we need to devote ourselves. We need to devote ourselves to the teachings of God. And once we devote ourselves to the teachings of God, then the fellowship, which we which we'll start feeling and we are interchanging amongst each other and sharing with each other. It'll, it'll, it'll sort of rinse down on us and it'll show us exactly what God talks about as a family of believers. As a family of believers this evening, <clears throat> you and I, in, in, in the company of, of Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, I believe he's listening to what we're saying this evening. We, we ask ourselves, how regularly must this be? Now, if we were to go back to the Bible time, you'll see they did it on the first day of the week, which is our Sunday. This is when we, we should be doing it. So we don't do it every week, but, he, but it, was very, it, felt, it was very feltly, strongly felt that they should actually do this, getting together, because what happens when we get together, as we'll see this evening, that we take a lot of stock about ourselves when we sit at the Lord's table. The Lord's Supper, we call it the Lord's Supper because it's his meal. It's, it's, it's not ours. Um, Paul was Paul felt very, very strongly about this. And and he, at one stage, they got together. Um, and if you go and look at the, the 20th chapter, the 7th verse of, of, of Acts, you'll see that he kept the people busy and talking to them until midnight, well into the night. And I mean, we go to church for 30 minutes, we get agitated. We, we want to break free. We want, we want to go home. And, and, and if it's the end of the month and it's, it's the East Communion time and we say, oh, it's, it's a communion service. It's going to take an hour and a half. It's going to take two hours. Yeah, we just don't go. But you see, what we're doing then is we're missing out exactly from about what Christ wants from us, what God expects from us. When Jesus walked upon the face of this earth, you, I want you to just shoot back to, with me quickly to Matthew 26, 26 and 27. He, he, brought his, he brought the guys together and he said this. When they were eating, says, the Bible says that Jesus took bread and he blessed it. Then the Bible says he broke it into pieces and he gave it to the disciples saying this. Take and eat, for this is my body. And he took the cup of wine and he gave thanks to God for it. And he gave it to them and he said, each of you drink from it. Now, now what is this? This is a, a simple act of Christianness, of, of a Christian-like person. In other words, what are we doing? He says, this is my blood. This is my body. This is my blood. I want you to participate with me in other words what i went through for you and what i was and today we can say what he went through for us but then he said that i would still be and, and you can imagine how uh, uh, miffed does actually they didn't really understand what was happening at the time so we, we we should do probably this once a week because that's what what the bible expects from us but lo and behold our calendar got us into a program and, and we do it once a month as lots of people do it once a week some people do it every day <clears throat> so the participation is with with bread unleavened no yeast in it um and this is why we do what what we do and and what we do is we do it when we get together because that's the assembly and that's the fellowship and that's just rubbing shoulders with your brother or your sister and strengthening the body of christ I want you to understand that when we speak about communion this evening, that communion is there to strengthen the body of Christ. Why? Because number one, if we do it correctly, we are obedient. If we, if we are obedient, we would understand how to do it. And if we understand how to do it, we won't water it down. Because at the end of the day, Jesus died this painful death on the cross for you and for me. And that was our freedom. And all we need to do all we need to do is acknowledging through the participation of the Holy Communion, the Lord's Supper. In other words, this is the Lord's meal. And if we can understand that, things will start working out for you and me on a different level. 
he said in 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 matthew 26 28 26 to 26 26 to 28 he says this he says this is my blood which confirms listen give it, give it to me which confirms the covenant between god and his people this is a blood covenant between god and his people through his son jesus christ it is poured out as a sacrifice somebody say sacrifice it's poured out as a sacrifice to forgive the sins of many it's poured out as a sacrifice to forgive the sins of many in other words it's in we observe it and paul was very very straight about that as well because he when he when these these, these people were together with him you see he, 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 exactly the same words that christ used at the time that he broke bread he used exactly the same words with those that he broke bread with you can go and read it in 1 corinthians 11 24 25 you can go and you can pick it up from there i'm not going to go through it again i've just i've just i've just done that so what i want to say to you this evening is if we understand if it's important to you if the body of jesus that was broken was is important to you for you to you and if the, the blood that he spilt at calvary is important to you in other words you acknowledge that the blood has cleansed you, has washed you, has sealed you, as that was the special covenant between God and his people, was the blood. If you understand that, friend, and I want to say this to you this evening, that if you could understand that so well, you would also understand how important it is that we are to be 100%, 100% obedient to his word, to his ways, to his calling, and to what he expects from us. In other words, when we break bread this evening, together as a community of believers, even if we're stuck all over the show, <coughs> we're doing it as one body. We're acknowledging one God. We're acknowledging what he did for us on the cross. And so we need to encourage each other with strong appreciation of what Christ did for us. We need to show one another. We need to come and say, we understand this. We'll observe it. We want to do it. There's biblical evidence for me to see what it was, how it was, where it is, what is breaking bread, how it is done, um, what is the body of Christ. When we pick it up, we bless. We bless it. We, 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 we pray over it. <clears throat> we pray over the blood of Christ that was shed for us. We just When we pick up that glass, that cup, whatever, whatever is in it, Whatever you, whatever you got, your, 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 your wine. It's just not taking a sip and thinking about stuff outside. It's thinking about his death on the cross. It's thinking about that, that when you take the first sip, when you take the bread and you hold it in your hand, you say, this is a small piece of bread. That's right. That's a small piece of Christ in your hand. That's the body. That's his body that he, he's trying to share with everybody. That's his body that, that, were, that was on the cross. God, son on the cross that died for you and me, beat death, came back. And he says, I beat sin, man. And my blood has washed you clean. And all I'm asking you guys to do is when you have this meal and you come together, the glass and a cup, glass or a cup, and a piece of bread. Will you do it in remembrance of me? Because I did it in remembrance of you. Wow. Because I remembered you had sin. I remembered you gave your sin to me. I remembered I overcame that sin for you, Pete. And I go pick it up. And I look at the bread and I say, Lord. Thank you for redeeming. Thank you for picking me up, Lord. Thank you for holding me. Thank you for cleansing me. I acknowledge, Lord, as I take that piece of bread and I put it in my mouth. I say, Lord, make this part of my life. Because that's how much I adore you. Cleanse me, Lord. Bring me to a place. Let me understand this, Lord. Let me do it. Let me, let me do it obediently. Not just part of a, a system, Lord. 
Maar dat ik het anders te kan doen, jullie, ik kom op een plek van, ze is op woensdag aan, jullie, ze is, dat maak je zaak nie. Kost doen het net. Let's just agree with what we do in this evening. Paul was cross with these guys. He gets to the, the, the church in Corinth and he's cross. And they get together and they, and they have communion and he, and he says this to them. I, wanted, I just want to take it out for you guys. It's in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 11 verse 17 to 22. I can't read the whole one for, for the sake of the time that we spend here. But that's the deal. He says this. He says, I, he says, but in the following instructions, he says, I cannot praise you. He's talking to those people. He says, I cannot praise you. For it sounds to me, if you more harm than good is done when you guys meet together here. There's stuff that you're doing. You get together for the body of Christ, but there's, there's a problem here. Then he says, first I hear that there are divisions among you. And when you meet as a church, and, 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 to, and to some extent, I, I believe it. He says, because I can see it. One is better than the other one. We spoke about building the church of Christ, building the church of Jesus Christ, and, and, and using communion is, is, is all part and parcel of the same thing. Friend, tonight as believers, let us, let us build together, let us fellowship together, let us commune together. Let us look at, look, look at our families and say, let, let's just use this together. Let us bring people together. Let us stand as, as one in, 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 and beat this pandemic and beat the lies that are being spoken in this world at the moment. We're little people, but we, are, but we have a strong voice when we, when we have this, this, this connected this relationship with Jesus. When he wakes you up at two o'clock in the morning to talk to you. Just know that, that because you see, Paul said, this, I, I can't see this happening here with you guys because you, there's so much division amongst you. Some are running there, some are running here. Then he says, but of course there must be divisions among you so that you can have God's approval. Will be recognized. In other words, those oaks that are that, that God approves of are different from the others. Now come on. Now come on. We know that. We can see that. And those people that are approved the other people get jealous of. And then they just throw in their own little stories. He says, when you meet together, you are not really interested in the Lord's Supper. Man, communion doesn't mean anything. Some of you hurry to eat your own meal without sharing with others. As a result, some go hungry while others get drunk. Here. It's chaos. What? Don't you have your own homes for eating and drinking? Or do you really want to disgrace God's church and shame the poor? This is who slecht it in Corinth was that. He was cross. This is not what you guys are supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be putting this thing together. We're supposed to be holy in the company of Christ. He says, do you want me to praise you? He says, I look at you, I, will, I certainly will not praise you. It's great for this. Te bevelen. Wat, wat samen dit gaan. Nou, we nemen een guy in. We speaking about the collection and stuff like that. Which is all part and parcel of what's happening. But he's cross. What is the value of the supper? What is the waarde van, van die avondmaal? Is daar waarde aan gekop? Kom eens kijken naar die waarde als er. As a renering, as a memorial, as a memory. Paul, Paul gives an account as, as given by the Lord himself. He talks to the people. He says, for I pass on to you what I receive from the Lord. I pass on to you what I receive from the Lord. On the night when he was betrayed, say, the Lord Jesus took some bread. He gave thanks. Bij aand word die Heer Jesus verraai. Is die selfde aand. Die selfde tyd. Waar hy dank. Hy dank vir sy vader. En hy breek die brood. En hy deel het uit om hulle. Jo. 
doing it to you, but that's, that's, that pierces my heart, man. He knows what's going to happen. But he says, this is my body. This is my blood. Use, take, eat, drink, use it, but do it in remembrance of me. For wie vraag vanavond, die laatste keer wat u nachtmaal gebruik het, did you really, without going through the whole, the, did you, did you, when you, when you took that little piece of bread, did you, did you look at it as the body of Christ? Did you, did you see your sins disappearing one by one? When you took the cup, cup, could you feel the blood when you, when you drank it? Was there a cleansing process taking place? Were you cut off from the world when you did that? Was so schoon, was so cyber? Because that's what he said. Do it and remember. Do, hey, dude, remember that this is what I did for you. I cleansed you. You were dirty, bro. I cleansed you. That's my body, man. I could not for schooling I had I could go on it I got pained. I got tortured. I got spat on. For you, bro. For you. What I'm asking you. As if you've received me and I've forgiven you, your sin. All I'm asking you to do is just when you pick those when you pick those things up, will you do it in remembrance of what I did for you? Would you just do it and say, but I can remember that day, even though it's two thousand years ago, I can remember that day. And I just look at it differently and I say, But if God could do it for someone. As vile as what I was. Surely I gotta look back and say, Lord, this is my wow. This is my strength. Hier is iets here wat even my vergeet om in nooit, nooit, nooit te vergeet. I can I can never forget you, Lord. I can never, never forget you. Let me not drink from the cup without honoring the body of Christ. May they never eat from the bread without honoring the body of Christ. Let it never happen. Let us do it in memory. Let us do it in, and, and, and move forward in what we're doing for the king himself. That blood which confirms the covenant between God and his people. We, we God's people. We God's people. We, we children of, 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 of the king. And he said that I bought you with a price. That's, this is, I confirm my covenant with that, with that blood. He confirmed it when he took out his nation from Egypt. With the blood on the, on the doorposts. He confirmed it for you and I by sending his son. Because that's also got out of hand. And so what do we do this evening with this? Whose death made the new covenant possible? It was his death. This was the new covenant that came. This covenant was given to you and me. Where Hebrews 9, 16 says, Now when, when someone leaves the world, is it necessary to prove that the person who made it is dead? He's left the world. God will was left for us. God's will was left for us. Whose blood was shed for the remission of our sin? His son, Jesus Christ. That was the blood that was shed. That was the will of God that that be happened. That was the, that was the living will. We, we could be totally uneducated. We could not have to read. We could just see what happened. And no, this is what the king, what this is what God, the creator of heaven and earth saw in, in, in us as, as the precious people that he created. We turned sour on him. Got to this place. This evening. 
ask you, friend, this is the place that God brings to you and I, and he makes these little, these moments, special moments, and he gives us, and we say, Father, for you are glorious. And if you are glorious, Lord, we, we really need you to, to release spiritual wisdom and insight to us, Father God, so that we would regain the knowledge that we should have of who you are in our life, Lord. And we do it on this Wednesday evening where in the middle of the week and where we decided that this is what we're going to do. Out of the norm. It doesn't have to be in the norm. It's just what we want to do is just honor it. That's what it is. That's what it proclamer. Somebody said proclamer. We want to proclaim it. That's what we want to do this evening. We proclaim it in our faith. Our faith for every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing that the Lord's death until he comes again. Every time we do this, we are saying, He's going to come back. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done, but you're going to come back. We proclaim it. We proclaim his death on the cross. We proclaim his rising. We proclaim the blood that's cleansed us. We proclaim that. We show that we do it properly. That his death was necessary so that we could be free. <laughs> his death was necessary so that we could be free. Somebody say that. Necessary so I could be free. Announcing his death until he comes again. The Bible says it's, it's, it'll be done until he comes again. That's what it is. So this evening as we come and we sit here on, on, this, on this weekday and we say, what are we doing? I'm saying, hey, dude, you know what? This is, this is a time to reflect. It's a time to reflect. Reflecting on what, Pete? I say reflecting on our, our spiritual condition, checking out where we are. It's time to come to a place and examine ourselves before before eating, before drinking from the cup this evening and to say, but where am I? If I, if I take the cup and I, and, I take, and I take the bread and, and I do it without honoring God, what am I doing? I'm doing exactly the same as that Alex when, in the, those Corinthians did at the time. But why do we want to do it like this this evening? It's just worked out that way. No, no, it didn't just work out that way. We know where we are at the moment. We know how difficult it is. We thought when COVID started, this time, A, we would be swinging, you know, we would be backstroking and, and we would be skipping and hopping and jumping. And now that net all is omgedraaid. Everything is different now. It's worse than it was ever before. And then you read the news, you, you, you look at the news and you read the papers and you see all the other stuff happening. You don't, yes, you can't like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. But I know that I'm I'm really, really counting on God to take me through this thing. I really am. I'm asking him to take me through this thing. I'm asking him to to help me when I examine myself. See, his holiness will, will will lead me and to say, but Peter, these things are not right in your life. You've got to fix these things up. And I've got to look at myself and examine myself and, and look at the, the onderscheiding of me as and to say, but I must not onderscheid. There's a there's a what here on going in in the lichaam of Christus. There's discernment to take place from that. I've got to come into that place where that happens. Judge myself. Let me judge myself, Peter. Let, judge, judge Peter. Let Peter judge Peter, so that I do not become do, 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 so that I do not be judged. But Peter judged Peter this evening and said, Pete, where are you? As she die means. And as I see that it's the court, let me let me let me come by life for for now and say, here, ma ma, help me here. I need to let me just on the on the bigger fat here. Because you give me the chance to do that. Let me live a life appreciating the the, the sacrifices that God made. For me, when he when he when he gave his son to die for me, let me lead a life this evening and say that his sacrifice was a gift. It was a sacrifice for him, but it was a gift to me. God sacrificed his son, and he gave each and every single person walking upon the face of this earth a gift of life. A gift of life, friend. You look at the world today, and you look at the news, and you say, "But where's this gift of life?" Why, why are we fighting like this? Why are there so many differences? Why is there this power struggle? 
And then you know your enemy walks around like a like a roaring lion, man. And he's clopping left, right, and center because that enemy, he doesn't park off at this table like him. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't. He wants to take the table and turn it over. As much as Jesus turned the tables in the in in the temple, the devil wants to turn us as well. He doesn't want us using the stuff. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to speak in the way we're speaking tonight. He doesn't want us listening to what we're listening to tonight. He doesn't want us to feel the way we feel in our hearts tonight. It's his job. He's the opposition, remember. He's not on God's side. He'll never be on God's side. What will we take from this this evening? Jesus says that he loves us. He said, I loved you. I've always loved you. That's why I died for you, man. How would you acknowledge me? How would you acknowledge me on this Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday evening, in the middle of the week? It's not even Sunday. You didn't get anything wrong this evening. If you if you're listening, you didn't get anything wrong. You got it all right. All I'm saying, folk, hear me this evening. All I'm saying is, let us turn around as a community of people. Let us turn around as a as a community and and come before God this evening. Let us stand before him as a community of believing people. And if we have wronged him somewhere along the line, say, Lord, we, we're sorry we wronged you. We really are. I'm sorry, Father God, that I, I spoke things I shouldn't have spoken, thought things I didn't think I should have thought. And when I had the chance to praise you, I didn't do that. Got sucked into the world system. I'm sorry. And to show you, Lord, that I'm sorry, I want to come to your table this evening clean, Lord. I will up on my family and to say, I will I will it's to do now. I want to I want to really be that person, Lord. I want to be different. I want you to take my sin, Father God, this evening and just check it differently. I don't want to do things deliberately long, Lord, when it comes to you. Because your judgment will be terrible. In the olden days, Father, when it was like that, when people refused to obey, obey the law of Moses, they were put to death without mercy. Just on the, on the testimony of two or three witnesses. So, Mark Pastor. Ons het daar extra kans gekregen. Het. Daar extra kans wat ons kan optel. Ons het een bloed verbond. Wat ons moet eer wat nie vir ons gegee het, my God. Friend, how will we honor that blood covenant this evening? Do you think? Do you have an idea how we could honor that blood covenant this evening? Would you, would you want to do that this evening? Would you, would you want to just say, Lord, I, I acknowledge for what, what you did for me on, on, on bringing, giving your son to die for me on the cross. I acknowledge that this evening. So I want to I come to you this evening and, and through communion in my fellowship with you, Father God, I, I just want to say that I understand. I understand your word. I understand your love. I, know, I understand everything, Lord. I understand, Father God, that when we come this evening and bless the cup, we will be sharing the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. I understand that, Lord. And when we participate and partake and, and sharing and drinking from, from, the, from the cup and, and wherever we may be, even if we're separate this evening, Father God, we, we understand that there's a, there's, a, there's a reinforcing, a sense of reinforcement of blessing that will, that will come to every one of us, that will cover us, that will bring us back our thought train, Lord. If we're thinking differently this evening, then, then we thank you for that, Father God, because this is the fellowship that we have in, in just sharing the body of, of, 
of your son with us this evening, Father God. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you're listening this evening. Because when we break the bread, we, we, we understand that because we're honoring your body. We're honoring that. We're honoring that. Also, in a sense of reinforcement. Oh Lord, what a, what a privilege and, and what an honor. We want to build fellowship this evening, Father God. When we look at what happened in, in the Bible time, Lord, that, that people came together to break bread. Today, we, we would also love to come together, but some, 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 some of us can't come together because we've been stopped by what's happening in the world. But that's why we feel so strong this evening as to say, but if these things are happening, what's, what's stopping us from doing it exactly the way we're doing it this evening? Who come can us in Psalm Nacht more gebruik nie? Al is dit dan uit mekaar uit en ver van mekaar af en but in the tenwoordigheid van die Heere God Himself. Sure. Sure. So I ask you this evening, my friend, have you maybe you've just seen it a little bit different this evening? There's a lot more I could say. But you've just seen it that little bit different this evening, that you understand what it's all about, that 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 this communion we speak about the nochmal what is doing it's not just something that puts on the calendar that we've got to tick it off and see get it good this is something that that just brings you closer to jesus that brings you into a place that you're honoring the body of christ the body of christ that was that god himself said that this is what's going to happen i'll take all that that pain punishment that's fine because i love you Oaks, so much my head is too too small to, to, to really grasp that. But I can also say this evening that I want to carry on my journey little by little, but it's got to be stronger. It's got to be steadfast and it's got to be rooted in Christ. And if I've been given this opportunity and to break bread and to, to participate from the cup, I need to do that because I need to take, I need to take introspect of who I am and am I this person that I say that I am am I this person that stands up for Christ or am I the one that, that runs away Judas was at the same table when Jesus said one of you is going to betray me Judas was at the same table Judas participated at the same meal Eleven followed him, one betrayed him. What will we do this evening? What will you and I do this evening? Will we follow him, Jesus, honor his Father and the Holy Spirit, or we will betray them? Say to me, yeah, but this is in the middle of the week. I said, God, I don't care okay, where it is. I couldn't care where it is. It could be every single day of my life. I'm asking you, friend, this evening, what are we going to do? Are we going to honor it? Going to go reject it? I asked you to, to get your stuff together. Here's the bread. You got your bread. You got your bread. Let me just say that he took that bread. He gave thanks and he broke it. So we say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your son. Lord Jesus, we honor you this evening that we can participate in your body, your body that was your, your body that was just beaten to pulp. You took all that pain and all that suffering just for me. But I know that when I, when you, when I received you, that broken body was made whole. And I come and I honor you this evening, Lord Jesus. 
for your broken body. And I do this as I eat from this, from, from, from your body this evening. I do it in remembrance of your utter death on the cross. In Jesus' name, take and eat, my friend. Then he went and he took the cup he passed the cup around and he said take drink this is my blood my blood my blood that will wash you clean but this blood will form a new covenant between the holiness of heaven and you. Are you part of that new covenant, friend? Have you received that new covenant? You, you received this blood this evening, this, this, this body. He said, take, drink, and do it in remembrance of me. Let's do that. Father, in this evening, we thank you for having joined us, albeit that we all over the show this evening. But Father God, that you have wrapped your arms each, around each and every single person that have acknowledged you this evening. And may even acknowledge you, Father God, once this visual becomes available wherever but we thank you that you have been with us this evening that you heard our hearts and heard our voice and and received the seed that we have sown this evening so father i pray for each and every single person i pray father god for for every family that has been touched by this, by this terrible era that we live in right now. I believe, Father God, that if we turn to you, as your word says, Father God, so many people are saying, Father, that we will humble ourselves before you and we will shout out, Father God, and we pray, pray, Father God, in Jesus' name, that you would end this, Lord. It's frightening, Father God. And this is only the beginning. We know it's the price that we pay. We follow you, Father. But we also know that you are the only one that can turn the key in the lock and set before us an open door. You promised that to us, Lord Jesus. We stand in obedience with you behind a closed door and anticipation wait as you turn the lock in the key to open the door for us to cross, to cross into, into newness, Lord. Take away from us the pain and the suffering. I pray, Father God, for negativeness to be turned into positiveness, blackness to turn into whiteness, Lord. I, turn, I pray, Father God, against sin, Father God, which is rife at the moment. People are just seeing the gap. They're just running. There's, they're all over the show. In Jesus' name, Father, that, 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 that law will take its, that come into place and, and just take, Father God, and lawlessness we can in the name of Jesus this evening. Lord. Really pray for a new outpouring of your holiness, Lord, amongst your children and your people. Seek your face this evening, Father God. And ask you, Father God, to bless each and every single person that, that, that went under your covering this evening, Lord. That you will bless us richly and, and walk with us and strengthen us. I ask, Father God, that when we do come, become despondent, that you'll put your arms under us, Lord, and, and just pick us up 
and re-strengthen us and guide us and walk with us, Lord. Your word says even if we go through the shallow valleys that are that have death in them and, and dark in them, Father God, that you will take us through those valleys. Pray, Father God, for, for dry bones in those same valleys to come alive. Pray for an outpouring. An outpouring, Father God, of your holiness. Sense to Father God, if the people ill this evening, that you will touch them. That you will heal them. In Jesus' name. Amen. My friend, thank you for visiting with me. We'll catch each other somewhere along the line, but I'll just keep keep your your eyes on, on social media, on your phone. You'll know where what we're doing, where we're going. But thank you for being with me this evening. I think it was pretty special. Be good, sleep well, eat well.